I think that's something that should be addressed as well. Ed Gielsen, and he's through, and scores! Fantastic goal by Ed Gielsen. He opened the scoring for Brazil in their last international against Chile, and he's done it again against the run of play. Yeah, it's a great strike from Ed Gielsen. I mean, you always feel that Brazil have got it in their locker to pull something out, which has just shown us, but uh, their overall performance up to now has been poor, but they're one goal up. Uh, it would be interesting to see how the Bolivians react to being one down there. They could fold and it could be a comfortable game for Brazil or they can roll their sleeves up and do what they've been doing up to now. But a great strike, look at that, straight into the top corner, left foot. Left themselves a little bit light at the back, the Brazilians, and uh, gave them the first time in this game a good opportunity to strike at goal. A typical Brazilian goal, walloped in by Ed. Paraguay don't play until tomorrow. And Ecuador, oh, there's a mistake here. And Bolivia are level. Would you believe it? Brazil have made a dreadful error. Uh, it's unbelievable defending. I did say that I hope I'm eating my words at, you know, before half-time, and I am now. I couldn't see them getting a goal, but they've gifted it to him on a plate. And uh, I'm still not quite sure who got the strike in on goal. And the defenders fell over, put the ball at his feet on the edge of the box, and he struck it with good ferocity straight into the corner. I think Marcos Mao got a hand on it. I think it might have been Lida Paz. It is Lida Paz. Yeah. I mean, he has been lively all night. He's got good pace. And he just preyed on, on the defender who stumbled and took full advantage. And the second half has largely belonged to Bolivia, to be honest. Goal! An extraordinary goal. An extraordinary goalkeeping mistake as Baldo Viso has scored an extraordinary free kick. Well, I, I don't know what to make of that goal, Gary, because I'd have to say that he possibly meant to deliver the ball into the box. Got too much on it. And the keeper, for the life of me, I don't know what he was doing. You know, he's, he, the ball's coming from a long way. And, uh, you know, he's, uh, he's, unless it's moved or done something. So I think he's meant to bend that into that six-yard penalty penalty spot area and it's just gone straight whether that's whether that totally sort of uh, full Marcos well it obviously has because he's come out and all of a sudden he started rushing back and it's flown in the back of the net I mean I can't believe it was challenge yeah I think he's gone for it all the way I mean he's got in front of the defender he's done half the battle there and once he gets in front of uh, Cafu, he's got to be careful because he knows that he's in the area, he knows that the striker's going to try and make a penalty. And he's played right into his hands. And uh, I don't think it would be fair if it was 3-1 anyway. So the way this game's gone, Bolivia certainly, to, certainly deserve to at least win this game by a two-goal margin. What a moment for Bolivia. They lead Brazil 2-1 with two minutes left and they have a penalty which Valdiviso's going to take here. Can he score his second goal of the game? He can! Bolivia have beaten Brazil! Joy unconfined in La Paz. They're playing at altitude, but their emotions are sky high as well. Yeah, I'm pleased for the Bolivians. I think they played ever so well tonight. They're only getting out the game what they've deserved. They've put all the energy, all the drive and determination into the game tonight. Brazil have been majorly disappointing. And uh, apart from individual bits of brilliance from certain players, Brazil just haven't been at the races at all. And what a move by Carlos Truco to recall Julio Valdiviso. His club in Saudi offered him money to stay behind and not travel back to play for his country. But in a patriotic...